Uh, my name is Dr. Ram Gopal Krishnan. I am a senior consultant in the Department of uh, Infectious Diseases at Apollo Main Hospital, Chennai. I uh, will be talking to you about what a vaccine clinic is. In many ways, the concept of an adult vaccine clinic is unique to India. And uh, this is a project that has taken off in the last four to five years or so. What do we do in an adult vaccine clinic? First of all, you know that vaccines are universally given for children. But what about adults? Adults are important targets for vaccines. And that is something which most of us in India don't realize. Diseases like say pneumococcal pneumonia, influenza, typhoid, even diseases of aging such as varicella zoster can all be prevented by vaccines. So targeted vaccination is an important concept which should be extended not just to the general population but especially to people who visit a hospital with other medical issues which make them more susceptible to these vaccine preventable diseases. So what do we do in a vaccine clinic? A vaccine clinic is uh, so-called one-stop shopping where you go to one place where you are counseled about your need for a vaccine. For instance, if somebody has diabetes, then automatically they would need two simple vaccines. One is to prevent pneumonia and the other is to prevent influenza. We have all heard of the term prevention is better than cure and you are all uh, familiar with master health checkups or personalized health checkups where an entire set of interventions and tests is done on essentially well individuals to keep them well, to prevent them from developing medical illnesses. Vaccines follow exactly the same role. So for instance, when somebody with diabetes presents to me as part of my patient care, then I would refer them to our vaccine clinic. What do we do in our vaccine clinic? Somebody talks to them, gives them a list of conditions for which vaccination is indicated which would reduce their future risk of disease. For instance, if you are 65 years old and you have diabetes, then you would automatically get a pneumococcal vaccine, an influenza vaccine, perhaps a tetanus, diphtheria, acellular pertussis booster, and perhaps a vaccine to prevent zoster, herpes zoster, which is a painful condition in the elderly. If you are young and if you are traveling abroad or if you are traveling to study abroad, you might get a meningitis vaccine or a typhoid vaccine or other vaccines to prevent diseases which are seen in the area that you are going to travel. So somebody has to counsel you based upon your medical condition, age, etc. about the need for specific vaccines which are all given in various guidelines. Once counseling is done and the patient buys into the concept of vaccination, we proceed with vaccines. And how do we do that? We set up our vaccine clinic which is a single area manned by uh, one, an official for the paperwork. Number two, a nurse, a qualified nurse who is taught to administer parenteral or injectable uh, vaccinations and who knows how to troubleshoot for side effects. For instance, if you have an allergic reaction or a problem or some medical contraindication to injections, what to do or how to troubleshoot that situation. So the various vaccines are stored in proper cold storage. Maintaining the cold chain is essential for vaccines. and. Uh, once it is in proper cold storage, it should be used immediately upon removing from that area. So properly stored vaccines are administered uh, based upon the medical indication at one go for that particular patient after appropriate counseling. Uh, we see about 30 to 40 patients per day in our basement main vaccine clinic and a similar number in the master health checkup or the personalized health checkup area who are counseled and who ultimately require vaccination. So just like your doctor would advise you to do uh, fasting blood sugar or advise you to get your blood pressure checked to prevent diseases down the line, we advise you to visit our vaccine clinic to get vaccinated for exactly the same outcome to prevent problems down the line. So this concept of a vaccine clinic is unique and it's taken off in a, in a modest way but it's a rapidly growing concept. It is actually widely, uh, widely used in western countries. It is something which needs to be applied and, and, and implemented to a greater deal here in India.